All right, it was quite the rough night. As you just saw, uh, big storms came through West Michigan. In fact, made national news. We'll show a headline right now. Uh, but like 140, 50,000 people right now without power. And that's us. And right now they're telling us it could be, you know, two or three days before power comes back. So uh, barely slept last night. Uh, my daughter Dot was scared with all the lightning and stuff. So I slept next to her and she's kind of got a cold, but I didn't sleep too well last night. Uh, but it is what it is. But hey, now it's time for a Friday fun day. And what Nate and I like to do is, you know, when certain movies come out, especially the Marvel movies, mainly for my sake, because I'm just a big geek. I love the Marvel movies. And we always go on Friday afternoon, opening day, uh, just because it, it gives us something to do and kind of like a little work vacation. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go see Spider-Man Homecoming. We're gonna grab some lunch at a local brewery and uh, just have a good time. We have a buddy that's gonna be joining us. Uh, Paul is his name and you'll uh, meet him and catch up with him later in the, the, the video uh, as you'll see. Yeah, I've blabbered on enough, but yeah, it's, it's been a long night. Uh, so let's just get this fun day started. So if you're at the mitten, the one thing you have to do as an appetizer is not the soft pretzel, but the big show. 12 inches, and it's all of 12 inches, as you're about to see. Here is the pretzel. I don't know if the camera's doing it justice, but this thing, look, I have a big head. And here is my head right here, and I have a massive head, so I don't know if that's giving it any perspective. But this thing is huge. Okay, here is an iPhone 7. There we go. So, Next time iPhone 7 with a jumbo screen. So Next I don't, time just bring a tape measure. Yeah, a, or a tape measure, but it's huge. So this is the Mac Daddy. I've never had this one, but it is fantastic. So cheesy. My arteries are literally being closed up right now, <laughs> but I don't even care, because it's so worth it. So I would highly recommend this one. And then Nate, this is the uh, Hog Heaven, right? Yeah. So the cool thing about here is we're kind of like in a downtown-ish area of Grand Rapids and all the businesses are trying to work together. So the, the pulled pork that they put on this comes from a barbecue place right across the street. And then I know the barbecue place across the street, they do like some marketing and you know work with this place that we're at. So it's neat how all the businesses work together. So nothing better than supporting the local economy. Um, and this is really quality food. Um, in fact, our one uh, buddy from Baltimore, whenever he comes into town, like the mitten where we're at right now is the required place where we have to go. So, um, yeah, check it out. And your arteries will recover. You just gotta, just don't eat this every night. All right, I know I'm going now. Nate, go over there and get a tramp stamp. <laughs> I said that last time we were down here. I know, I'm gonna say it every time. We got two Scots over there. I actually would participate monetarily if we could get Nate to get a tramp stamp. <laughs> what, 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 what would it be? I would, I would contribute to that. Would it just be like some flowery, like frilly stuff or would we have a Butterflies message? maybe. No, it'd have to be something really like flowers and butterflies. <laughs> Nate, will you do it? No. What price would you put on that? Well, man, are you guys paying me or are you just paying for the tramp stamp? I don't know. Let's well, just talk let's, terms. Let's make a market here. <laughs> yeah. What's it going to take? <laughs> yeah. to, what's it going to take to get you a tattoo? No, would, not a tattoo. Oh, no, a I'm sorry, stamp. a tramp stamp. I yeah. would get a tramp stamp for 50K. How big? Yeah, like across the whole back? <laughs> I mean, a typical tramp stamp. like not like. not Well, how are you defining typical? I don't know. Eight Six. inch by four inch? Oh, I was actually, Eight inch all right. Four. I was going to say six inch for the heat. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, uh, was he negotiated against himself. That's fantastic. This, this is all fine, I think. This is all fine, yeah, you think? Yeah, it is. Um, I'm reasonably certain you guys aren't going to come up with 50K, so. I don't know. Mm. This is. <laughs> <laughs> you never said it had to be us. We could both start fundraisers on the side, <laughs> and I'm sure more people would be I mean, willing to contribute. Clay, you have a pretty decent following online. If we That's set up true. a GoFundMe. Yeah. In fact, we're going to put this in the video. Yeah. So if you want IT <laughs> Nate to get a tram stamp, just send us in like any well, donations. Okay, what is the tramp stamp going to be of? Do I get to we told you, flowers yeah, and butterflies. Flowers and butterflies. Okay. Yeah, okay. like. That's fine. All right, Nate, so yeah, you got to put this in the video now. I didn't okay. think about that, but you just totally, you should have been stricter on the rules that it had to be from us. 
not. No. Wait, wait, wait. No, what if, what care. if, what if we did like a, what if we did set up like a ninety nine designs and we could get a lot of different <laughs> ideas out okay, there? Okay, yeah. I like. Okay. That, that becomes a community thing again. Yeah, yeah. So ninety nine designs or submit your own design submit as a viewer. Design. Just let us know what you think a good design. It can't be offensive though. Um, I mean, <laughs> you with the tramp stamp by default is offensive. <laughs> That's the whole point of this. So, I mean, uh, yeah, I've been censoring myself a little bit. So, I mean, <laughs> you know, I think I think if you can spell something interesting out using only flowers and, and <laughs> yeah. frilly leaves and stuff, I think that's fair game, community. Uh, yeah, I, I do too. That's that's good call. All right, well, since that's in the video, we did finish lunch, and we are now going to the movie, and that's kind of yeah that that was kind of sidetracked. But what do you like to go by? Do you? Paul DeWise is fine. Paul DeWise. So Paul DeWise, what do you think about uh, uh, the mitten? It was good, man. You know, I'm not really a craft beer kind of guy, so I don't make it out to these places all that often. But their food was great. The the pizza. I am I am a bit of a pizza aficionado, um, and uh, yeah, pizza was legit. I, I greatly enjoyed the macaroni and cheese as well as. Uh, Hog, hog heaven? Yeah. Hog heaven. Hog not heaven. log cabin or whatever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not log cabin as my terrible hearing initially picked up, and then I was baffled when I couldn't find it on the menu. Nate, what did you think? Because you mean, never I, had, you haven't had the Mac Daddy, I have right? never had the Mac Daddy before. The Mac Daddy was good. Like, that was, they were good, good pizzas to go together. I think never had macaroni and cheese on a, ham, on a pizza either before. Is I hog heaven still number one for you, though, Nate? Yeah, I think so. But I would definitely order the hog, or the Mac Daddy. Yeah, that was good. I think the point got made of the two go very well in a pairing. They do. Yeah. And I would agree with that. Yep. Because yep. the one was definitely on the richer side, and then the Hog Heaven had more of a, would it, savory? Is that the right term? I don't, yeah. I don't know the, the right words for the, the food descriptions, but. Savory works for me. Savory. So we're at the theater, and uh, Paul and I, when we got the tickets, before 11 a.m., before, so on a Friday, before 11 a.m., we waited in line for tickets. So we don't know if it's the power outage, if it's summer, so lots of kids are, you know, obviously not in school, maybe it's the Spider-Man character is more kid-friendly. We, that was kind of our group effort, but I never would, in a million years would imagine waiting in line for tickets. Is this where we say, like, post in the comments why you think the movie theater <laughs> yeah. was busy? That's, Let us know. Now you're producing. <laughs> I'm producing. Earlier, I'm producing credit. Earlier he asked us, wait, what does producer mean? Like, who? What, what is the guy? I said, we all produce. So he just produced right there. So, yeah, in the comment section <laughs> below, what is your theory? Why is the movie theater unreasonably busy uh, yeah, on a at Friday? 12.53 on a Friday? But when this happened to us, it was oh, not true. even 11 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. It was, so... Weird. We gotta go see the movie though. So we just finished the movie. We are now back in Nate's car and driving uh, Paul. We drove separately so he is gone, uh, but uh, we hope to have him back some for some more uh, Friday fun days. But. Uh, I don't know, we didn't really talk about this. Should we do spoilers or not spoilers? Yeah, what the heck. It'll be a couple weeks after the movie's oh, yeah. out by the time yeah, so we release this. Yeah, so spoiler warning if you still have not seen Spider-Man Homecoming. I think the word is spoiler alert. Spoiler I think it's alert. a term. Spoiler alert. <laughs> what did I say? Warning. That's warning? That works. Spoiler <laughs> warning slash alert. If you have not seen Spider-Man Homecoming, then don't watch this. So, Nate, what did you think? I was severely entertained. You were entertained. I was severely entertained. I was I was entertained. I I think I liked the other Marvel movies probably. Well, okay, here we go. Because I know you really like Guardians of the Galaxy. More entertained than Guardians of the Galaxy. Different. That is a good word. Different. This one is very different because it's like oh, it's like a high school movie. Yeah. It's like because Spider Man's in high school, so the other ones are a little bit more like grown up. Yeah. I would say Guardians of the Galaxy was like more fighting and fun. This and was out a, in space. This, this was a lot more like drama. Yeah, that's character true. Character driven, I think. Yeah, yeah. There was a lot of character in it, and I was a little worried about some of the technology. But all right, this is spoiler. So technology, what I liked was how it made sense. Like because I picked up all the equipment from like the previous movies, like that's how they were able to build that technology. Mm -hmm. It's not like this was just another super genius person. It was them taking technology from the aliens and previous video or previous movies. And then, you know, using that as their excuse to where this stuff came from. Because that's, yep. 
Uh, that'd probably be nitpicking. But anyways, I like when the things make sense. It was nice that there was no aliens involved. Yeah, like, but their technology was still yeah, involved. That's true. So, but that's true. it made sense. So, okay, well, that's how all this stuff came to be. Yeah. Uh, the twist. Did you see the twist coming? With Which, the bad guys being the girls. Dad. Oh, I did not see that. Yeah. The nope. twist is pretty epic. Nope. That was a good twist. Yeah. Where uh, it was funny. The when uh, Peter Parker was going to pick up uh, the girl for homecoming dance, and then the door opens, and it's Michael Keaton, the bad guy, just sitting there. The guy, did you hear him? Down mm -hmm. a few, so he no. goes, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so it definitely got him too, but yep. there, was, there was an audible was reaction in the theater. So that was a good twist. Yep. Uh, Michael Keaton, what do you think about him as a bad guy? He did a good job. Well, he's just a good actor anyways. Is, yeah. It was kind of yeah. weird though, because- Because he wasn't really a bad guy. Like. He was, but he isn't at the same time. That's what was good because the opening scene set up perfectly. Like, he, she was trying to do yeah. a, a honest day's work by picking up stuff, and yeah. then, you know, the you know the bigger powers kicked him out. Mm -hmm. So that was good. I like that. He was a bad guy, but you're still kind of rooting for him a little. Yeah, because you understood where he was coming from yep. to a sense. It's green. There we go. But uh, what was weird for me though is I'm used to Michael Keaton as Batman from like 1988. <laughs> you probably weren't even born then. What year? Uh, you I born? was 86? one year old. You're. I don't know when Batman, maybe Batman came out in 1990. Anyways, he was like the original Batman from like the movies, so it's kind of weird to see him in that role. But yeah, Michael Keaton's just a good actor. Yeah. Tom Holland, good job. He was Spider-Man. Yep. What did you think about that? Yep. No, he did a good job too. Yeah. I was really hoping it wasn't going to end when, like, because Iron Man took away his suit like halfway through or three quarters of the way. Yeah. And it very easily could have ended there, and that would have been a really sucky ending for a movie. So like I'm sitting there hoping I'm like okay I hope this doesn't end I hope this doesn't end keep going keep going yeah. so then they they redeemed themselves. Well that was back but... to like the drama part that you said like yeah. there was definitely a redemption story part of it yep. so that was good but uh, yeah overall I'd say I mean it wasn't a bad movie I would give it probably a B and yeah, yeah I'd Some give really, it a B. What was your favorite is, scene? Oh favorite scene was Captain America doing all his little videos <laughs> where the gym teacher is like. <laughs> Well, he's a war criminal now, but whatever. And so I don't know, just little things like that. And then the the end credit scene, yep. the end end the was perfect yep. with Captain America again, where he's talking about patience. Mm -hmm. So only Marvel can get away with stuff like this at this point in time. I mean, <laughs> totally mocked. Yeah, the whole thing. any yeah, the way they trolled the audience there, only Marvel can get away with that. So, um, but yeah, I thought it was good. Definitely um, worth seeing. Yeah, I would say go and see it in theaters. Would I go and see it again in theaters and pay? Probably not, whereas uh, I think I saw Guardians of the Galaxy twice in theaters, Salt with Nate, and then I took my wife, and a couple of the other ones I've seen twice. Would you go and pay for it again in theaters? Yeah, probably not. But I would definitely watch it again when it comes out on, on Blu-ray or whatever. Yeah. Um, so what would your grade be? I would say, yeah, B, B plus. No, B? Yeah, B or a B plus, somewhere in there. Okay, I know you're not a trader, but <laughs> B, B, that's, we're, like in a trade plan, you got to stick with something. So what is it? B, B or plus. B, plus? B plus. Okay. Yep. So a definitely plus. a good movie. Um, and I would say, you know, check it out. But I'm trying to think, was there anything else that uh, is kind of worth talking about? But uh, yeah, it tied in nicely. Iron Man. Now, if you're going to this, I should, as a warning, if you haven't seen it, well then. <laughs> yeah, I kind of, we kind of ruined it. But for some reason... If you haven't seen it and you just don't care about spoilers, if you're going because you're like, oh, I love Iron Man, I want to see Iron Man, Iron Man is in it for maybe five minutes. Yeah, he really if do that. Anything. Tony Stark's in it a little bit, yep. but as far as Iron Man is concerned, yeah, he's barely in it and he really doesn't do anything. So uh, that would not be a reason that you'd want to go and see this I movie. I do like how they tied it into, what was it, Civil War? Yeah. The last one? That, At the very that, beginning? Yeah, that was a good, like building off of that. Well, I tied it into a lot of the movies because I talked about Ultron. They got some of the parts from that. They talked about the first Avengers and then they referenced, you know, a bunch of the other ones. So, uh... And it's stupid Captain America through the whole blinking. thing. Is that okay? Yeah, we're fine. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I think that's it. Do you have any final thoughts on it? No. B, B plus, worth paying uh, at least once. I, I'm not going to go and see it again, but uh, yeah, check it out. Uh, or maybe you already have checked it out and now you're just seeing uh, if you agree with our thoughts on it or not. I'm sweating up a storm. It's, it is hot today yeah, it's and hot. muggy. Doing movie reviews and you catch it on the air is a little rough. Oh, yeah. That, is that what's going on? Yeah, we got to yeah. turn down the air. That's yeah. okay. Good. Yeah. So it's not just quite me. So yeah. whatever. It's been a rough day. No shower. What a good day. I mean, we got the mint in for lunch. That mint was good. That was a great. We went to see a great movie. We had two pieces left and he left them on the <laughs> I table. I left them on the table. 
of that Mac Daddy. I didn't forget any of the camera equipment though. We have all of that. So that's true. That's true. I guess that costs a little bit more than pizza. But anyways, <laughs> if you're in West Michigan visiting, definitely check out the Mitten. Worth seeing Spider-Man Homecoming. Hey, there's your truck. That's basically the same truck as I have, yep. So uh yeah. And I guess with that, uh, we gotta get home. It's almost four o'clock, so we gotta get on video charts so that uh our Somalian hedge funds know which stocks to short. <laughs> um, I gotta hop on the phone real quick with my North Korean hedge fund. The reception's there is kind of spotty because it's in a bunker. Um, and then the one out in the Sahara, Sahara Desert, that one's a little spotty because it's sandy out there, so that gets in the phone equipment. So that, hedge, <laughs> but yeah, gotta get those video charts done so all our hedge funds know what penny stocks to short. Yeah, Nate, any final words? Nope. Yeah. Uh, see you back for uh, next week and whatever uh, our next adventure is going to be.